All right, back for another beer review, and today I'm reviewing another beer from the Finback Brewery, and they're out of Queens, New York, and this is their multicolor. So they're calling this a double IPA that comes in at 8.4% alcohol by volume. No IBUs listed in the time of review. This can is exactly five weeks old. So on the side here, it says double IPA, dry hop with a brew one, Amarillo, Citra, and Mosaic hops. That's all I know about it. Sounds pretty delicious. Finback's been killing it. Let's see what this one has to offer. Pour out, you know, like most of their beers, New England style, that's how they roll. Jeez. Wow. Anyway, you guys heard that. So that pours out this really deep honey orange color, half finger to like three quarters of a finger of a off-white head. Pretty creamy looking. That has a really turbid look to it. I don't know how it's going to come off on camera, but yeah, that's very like murky. Wow. Anyway, let's get a nose. Wow, that smells awesome. There's a huge blast of like citrus, like blood orange, mandarin orange, navel orange, stuff like that. Ruby red grapefruit, a little bit of tangerine. Nice like sweeter pineapple, not necessarily like crushed or super sweet, but just has a sweetness to the pineapple. A little bit of like an herbaceous dankness to this one, slight spiciness. Yeah, that citrus is huge. I don't usually get just like full on citrus out of IPAs too much anymore. Usually it's stone fruits and tropical fruits and you know more like fleshy fruits. Um, this one has like all the citrus juice to it. Yeah, big citrus juice quality to this one with some underlying herbaceous dankness, a little bit of spiciness. It smells really good. It smells like the, the uh, Amarillo is really big in this because of that citrus and specifically the two or three different kinds of orange I mentioned. I usually get huge orange vibes from Amarillo. It's the second uh, hop listed and uh, yeah, it's kind of reigning supreme in this one. It smells awesome. Let's get into it. Cheers, everyone. It's really nice. Ooh. I don't know how many more times I can say it. Probably I'll say this forever in Finback's reviews, but man, they just, they have turned the corner. They have turned the corner over the last year, 18 months. This is very akin in quality to like another half beer for me at this point. The body on this one, higher side of medium body, low side of full, at 8.4%, this is, this is actually big. It's big. The mouthfeel is also just awesome. Soft, smooth, creamy, probably using, you know, oats, wheat, whatever, to make it look like this, to make it, you know, drink like that as far as mouthfeel is concerned. But the body has an oomph behind it that I'm, I just don't get too much anymore with like eight, eight and a half percent double IPAs. Body and mouthfeel on this are fucking just, it's dynamite. It's this dynamite. The taste though, pretty much carries over from the um, aroma. But there's a little bit more like tropical and stone fruit. So I'm getting that. I would say just like mandarin orange, navel orange, like you're just your like kind of generic orange you pick up at the uh, you know grocery store at the supermarket. Really juicy orange quality to it. There is um, a nice like ruby red grapefruit presence uh, right in the front of the palate too. As it passes through the palate though, that herbaceous dankness, a little bit of spiciness creeps in, kind of cuts that juiciness and that sweetness. But then I'm hit with like sweeter pineapple, um, more like a peach apricot stone fruit vibe to it, nectarine, something like that. And then it finishes with a low to moderate bitterness. There is a little bit of bitterness. There's also a nice like a dryness and almost like slight resin quality to this one as well. Infinitely drinkable despite the 8.4%. Super balanced. Uh, it's not too sweet. It's not too bitter. Not too juicy. Not too herbaceous or spicy. It just all blends well, makes it super cohesive. Shout out to Paul over at Pay Uh Yeah, as you can see, I'm crushing this at 8.4%. <sighs> Holy shit. Um, yeah, this one it seems, it's very redundant. I say it all the time. Just Finback's been doing it for me, and this is another winner. Multicolor, Finback. High 4.5 out of 5. I'm going to go 4.6 out of 5. Yep, that surprises me too. That's a really high fucking score. This is one of the most drinkable... Eight and a half, well, it's 8.4, but eight and a half percent double IPAs that I've had, period. 
I could throw this back. The only, the only like, the only thing letting me know this is a bigger beer is the flavors and the body. I'm also getting a slight warming into the chest, into the stomach. Nothing on the palate. There's no alcohol astringency. There's nothing. It's just, as I said before, it's dynamite. So yeah, multicolor, Finback, 4.6 out of 5. If they were brewed this again, or there's still cans hanging out by the time you see this, probably a couple months old. I don't know. I think this might hold up for even another two, three weeks. Might even hold up at the three month mark. I've mentioned before, I try to drink all my IPA six weeks or fresher, and I do that most of the time, but there are some double IPAs and some triple IPAs that I have drank before that have been three, four, five months old and are still killer. So, um, you know, price on this one, I believe was $18 a four pack at the brewery. So you're talking 450 a can. They get slight distribution in New York state. And I believe in the Massachusetts might be other states, you know, nearby as well. Um, this one I grabbed at the one stop brew shop in Rochester, New York. They brought it back from Finback. And I think I paid like five, five fifty a can, a little bit of an upcharge, obviously, because they made the trek. Uh, and I would pay twenty dollars a four pack, twenty two dollars a four pack all day for this. This is this is I won't say it's world class, but it's one of the better, you know, around eight and a half percent double IPAs I've ever had. So yeah, if you've seen this one and uh you've had it. That's weird if you've seen this one. If you've seen this one and you didn't have it, obviously you passed it up. But if you did see this one and you grabbed it, let me know what you think about it. I think it's killer. So I appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review. Till the next one. Cheers.